Hey what's up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and welcome back to episode 2 of my Road to Glory which is also called Let's Play and as I said this is episode 2 so if you missed the first episode go and check it out, I'll show you guys the best possible way that you can start your ultimate team um, using your loyalty packs and also going to the EA Sports catalogue and redeeming some basically some free coins um, but we start off this episode as you can see I was having a look on the market for a new goalkeeper because our current one is rated 76 which isn't particularly good for a goalkeeper um, but the goalkeeper I decided to go for that was actually affordable was Chesney at this point in time I think 82 rated plus were just too expensive they were like three or four thousand coins and it just wasn't affordable but um, on the previous episode as I said episode one um, we managed to just about smash 500 likes we actually hit 550 so thanks for that if you want another episode for tomorrow let's smash 500 likes again and that'd be fantastic and i'll get one out for you guys tomorrow at the same time now um i also um had an injury here on flamini um it's very on this game on fifa 15 you do get injuries a lot more often than fifa 14 which i don't think is too bad because it's not really that expensive but it just can be a little bit annoying at times um so i picked up a new cdm mccarthy for 500 coins and also when i picked up a left mid for 500 coins called um Jay Rodriguez, he's got some pace. Also, Valencia are picked up in the right mid position for 1300 coins, and those are all pretty good investments because none of them are going, you know, they haven't lost anything in value because everything's going up in price at the moment on Ultimate Team. So, it's really good to invest uh, your coins in high rated players, but for me, I couldn't in this series just because. This isn't a trading series, it's a road to glory. But um, this team, I really want to make some changes to. The first thing I want to do is actually um, buy a left back and a right back so I can actually play in the 4 1 2 1 2 formation. That's the formation I play best in. I don't know why I went with the 3 at the back formation. I guess it was just easier with the with the players that I started with. But 3 at the back, especially on FIFA 15, if it's your first team, don't do it because defending is a lot harder on FIFA 15. And 3 at the back just means you're under constant threat all the time and you've got to use your centre backs instead of actually, you know, using using your left and right backs which it sounds weird but it's a lot easier to defend with pace your players and pushing your opponents out wide um, but I do get off to pretty bad start because I tackled him with McCarthy our new CDM and it goes straight to Rodriguez I'm mean, not Rodriguez um, Kone who puts into the back of the net but I do get an opportunity there uh, brings the goalkeeper out and uh, he does get um, a player in the way to block the shot but uh, Jay, Jay Rodriguez here getting through Nice little dummy. Looks like I was going to cut inside and take a finesse, but I went for the dummy instead. But Aruna Kone, again, being a right pain in the ass. The reason why I say pain in the ass is because I felt like these goals were so undeserved. 42nd minute, 2-0 down, and I definitely had um, a good couple of opportunities. Here again, go for a cross with Aguero. I'm not sure who that is um, in the box, but it was cleared off the line, and uh, I was a little bit gutted because I really don't like losing in this series because I know it's going on YouTube. Uh, but here, I just, as you can see, I just wasn't used to the physics of the shooting. Um, but but here again, Ronaldo with that bloody free kick. And these free kicks on this game are so overpowered. You don't understand. I'm actually thinking of bringing out a tutorial on how to take free kicks just like that from that kind of distance because they're just so much easier this year. And uh, there's a slight little twist to it. Not a twist, but um, you've got to do it in a certain way for it to be quite effective. So if you want that, make sure you leave it in the comment section and I'll try and get it out maybe tomorrow or the day after. But uh, I need some more footage for that. But um after that game, I lost 4-0. I didn't even get a consolation goal or anything. He absolutely destroyed me. And uh, as I said, this is actually my second game on FIFA 15. I've played about 10 games now and I've finally got used to the shooting mechanics. Um, I've started playing with four back formations. I'm a lot better. But this is the last... I think it's the last game or the last episode where I actually play with three at the back. But... As you can see, um, I lost the game. Did, I don't get any packs for that in this series. Um, also, Sergio Aguero run out of contracts um, as a lone player. So... I had to basically get rid of him and we also brought in Shane Long there and because I couldn't open any packs for losing that game I didn't really get enough coins to be able to buy a new left back and right back with enough pace you know I'd say anything 80 pace and above for me in this team at the moment would be ideal so I was looking at the likes of Gibbs and Raphael as a left back and right back and I couldn't actually afford them so I had to go into the next game and try and conserve as much um, not points coins as possible basically but here you can see the pace and the dribbling is much different on this game took me by surprise and he got through there hit the post I was a little bit lucky because to be honest with that kind of defending from me he deserved to score that kind of goal but Shane Long getting through with a nice volley there uh, chest to a volley and uh, somehow gets through here but the goalkeeper scrambles it I was going to say scrambles it he kind of catches it um, as a really good save but here Giroud luckily getting his head on that because I think I've, out of all, about, about 30 goals I've scored on FIFA Ultimate Team, a FIFA 15 Ultimate Team, about two or three of those goals have actually been headers from crosses or something like that. So they're not overpowered anymore. 
which is a good thing for some of you. It's a lot more about dribbling and building up and passing and pace and dribbling. As I said, I said dribbling twice because that is really the big difference in this game. But we did win that game 2-0. Not many highlights of that game. Um, it's very straightforward. I had the win over him and I was happy about that. But then because I won that game, open three packs. As you can see, what I got in my packs, not particularly that good. Did get right back with some nice stats, but he just wasn't in my league. And I want to stick to a BPL um, league team at the moment. So what I was doing was I was basically discarding all the players I couldn't sell. I was keeping all the contracts, all the fitness cards, all the badges if I wanted to um, and stuff like that. And that way I keep as much coins as possible. And I recommend that, doing that for yourself as well. Um, any players that you could sell, even if it's for four or 500 coins instead of this card for 300, do that because more coins at this point in time really does help your team. So guys, this is the end of the episode. This is my current team. Uh, we've got some coins now. I think I've got about four or five, maybe even 6,000 coins to spend on the next episode. Make sure you join me for the next episode. Also, smash the likes if you want to see it tomorrow. 500 plus and I will make sure it is done. Make sure you subscribe to me, Ezekiel Gaming HD, to see the series in your sub box for free. Remember, it's all free, so why not subscribe? And I will see you guys later. Bye.